so period close process this is the complete uh, picture which period we have to close okay you can go through this article uh -huh. continuous data flow is let's check the below flow chart so here you will be able to understand what period we have to close when it's a project so playable is the model which you need to close fast complete the period close activities per payable before closing procurement the reason is when once the ap period is closed you cannot send po and receipt for invoicing anymore there will be on invoice receipt available in procurement module you can then take into account the period and purchasing accrual and accrued expenditure and on invoice receipt so before closing po you have to close the ap period close the payable before inventory ap period also we have to close before inventory this is required to check that on invoice receipt accrual entry is accurate because you don't close it then again uh, the data will flow to ap so to stop that you have to close the ap period first close the ap period before fixed asset because from fixed asset uh, uh, from ap you are sending the invoices to fixed asset also right which are like capital expenditures you capitalize uh, and clearing asset clear with using with asset clearing account you are generating asset through mass addition process right so you need to ensure that all the invoices lines enabled for assets are completed okay run the mass addition process import everything all the asset uh, lines to asset management module and transport to gm okay so that's the reason why we need to close the ap period fast close the ap before closing the project module also why to ensure that invoices and expenses reports are completed and transferred to project okay so once you transfer everything like because you are booking the cost right once you create the ap invoices you are sending the cost information to project right poet information like uh, your when you are running uh, creating a invoice project based invoices uh, for accounting purpose you are giving uh, core information related to project what so is uh, organization hello is anybody telling something uh maybe i was not in mute sir i was speaking sorry oh, okay <clears throat> okay so before uh, closing the period uh, project period we have to transfer all the cost from payable to project and close the equity period then this is so payable we have to close fast that's the reason i mentioned here why you need to close the period after closing the period a peer period like you can close the procurement okay you have to do all the reconciliation correction for miscellaneous transaction correction in inventory close the inventory before closing the project so once you close the procurement then close the inventory to ensure that then inventory inventory may what happens project related inventory transactions are completed and imported to projects once you import them then close the inventory before closing the fixed asset and receivable transfer all the relevant project cost to fixed asset because we have capital project right <coughs> any project you are doing in a project module that uh, cip asset we need to transfer to fixed asset to capitalize them right so transfer all of them to fixed asset before closing fixed asset so general ledger is the last period so once all the sub ledger entries they are uh, 
imported successfully to GL, you can close the GL period. This is a complete sequence, but anyway, I'll uh, share the individual uh, period close activities. Like for here also, it is there. How to close year period? What are the things we need to take into consideration? Revenue recognition. Uh, what are the key points we need to consider before closing the year period? For every period, we have to take care of something, some key points like AP. So why I told like 25th, uh, by 25th, you should close the AP period? Because AP is the first uh, module we have to close first. Because all dependent modules, we have to close after AP only. So as early as you close the AP, you will able to reconcile the other periods and close. So it's an ideal uh, thing that to close the AP period bit early so that you can work upon other modules to close. So if you keep it pending till last date of the month, then again, other module close closure will be delayed. You understood, right? Yes. Any other questions from anyone? Ravi, you have any question on period close? Uh, right now, I understood a bit, sir. So when I'm doing practice, so maybe I'll get some ah, questions. Do something like uh, create some transactions and uh, create some payments. Close them, run the exception reports, and close the period. There is a in fusion. There is a. Uh, it's very easy to close the period and reconcile because if you there is a ready-made program, AP GL to AP reconciliation program, right? Uh, report. If you run that report, transaction level it will show like what is the differences, why this difference is happening. You can go to that particular invoice and uh, fix the error. So, sir, uh, as well as you can mention GL uh, process as well, right? In the yeah. site, uh, AR is available, but uh, you explained about a AP. Could you mention GL as well so that uh, it will be yeah. completed? GL period close? Yes, sir. The GL period close we will discuss. Uh, Later, once we cover all the AP, like oh. because GL is the last period we have to close. And GL nothing okay, to do yeah. actually. Period close, uh, GL period also not like uh, rocket science. You, have, you need to check like all the transactions are imported successfully. There is nothing uh, pending. Uh, everything is posted. Uh, sir, one more thing is. Yeah. For example, uh, we did not book some entry, uh, something happened, right, for the previous month. If we need to post that entry, so again, can we open? Which one? Uh, this was for the period closing only. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I couldn't get you. Needs to be passed. Some hmm? issues happen hmm? with the suppliers. So, is there any uh, way we can post that in the previous month? You mean uh, any transaction in current uh, month you want to post in previous month? Not in the mm, current month only, sir. In the same example for the month of January, we have closed the period. Mm -hmm. So, some issue with supplier or uh, something has happened. Mm. So for that invoice, if I want to post it in, it's it's belongs to January only. Okay. So if I want to post that, after closing it, we can again reopen it, right, sir? There is something hard. Uh, yeah, we can uh, open it, but yeah. this is a compliance issue. So okay, okay. It's a compliance issue. So okay. I, because there are a lot of auditors are observing everything. 
Okay. How many times you have closed the period? How many times you open the period? So you have to justify okay. them. Okay. It's not like someone go and uh, like uh, any whenever he needs to open, whenever need close. It will in real time it does not happen because period close process takes approval of some uh, higher authority. Okay. Okay. So if something is closed, you cannot even you you can make adjustment entry, but you right adjust on the period. Okay. For example, regarding MPA, multi-period accounting, I'll give one real-time example so that user did not run that MPA program for two months. So January, February, he did not run that program. So what happens in March, whatever pending expenditures should be booked for January, February, they came and uh, posted in March. Now, what will happen? Smart, this is a March <coughs> extra 2000 has been booked. So, you have to make your adjustment entry. So, that only 1000 should be booked for March. And they will make the like January and February again, they should book 1000 each. 